Hello, everyone. I'm Gabe Pressman, and I cover the news that breaks in the New York metropolitan area for NBC News. The wreckage went into the church, into the street, and into the surrounding buildings. The Pillar of Fire Church. Yes, isn't that ironically named? What do you think of this gadget we've got covering you today? That's a dandy. Uh. <laughs> I don't think that our fellow who's holding the camera is having a very comfortable ride. <laughs> WNBC-TV continues its bus and subway reports as the transit strike continues in New York City. This is the last lap of a four-mile hike. It's been more in the nature of a run to keep up with New York's new mayor, 44-year-old John Lindsay, who took office on Saturday, and today, the first working day of the new year, faces a major, perhaps the gravest, transportation crisis in the city's history. The bulletin flashed on our office radio. Attention, all NBC stations. The president has been shot in Dallas. No one had to tell us what to do. My camera crew and I packed our gear and rushed back to Midtown. We parked the car on 49th Street. A group of people were clustered there, listening anxiously to their transistor radios and our car radio. Then... A flash from Dallas. Two priests who were with President Kennedy say he is dead. Our bullet wounds. I don't want that anybody be worried here. What about your personal Nothing philosophy? Nothing is I... going to happen. Nothing is going to happen here. Do you feel that... What she did was a product of what you called uh, recently the climate of violence in this country, or do you feel that it's the work of a deranged woman? Where the white people are. Malcolm was impressive, intimidating. He spoke angrily of the persecution of African Americans by white people, never raising his voice, making it more intimidating when he told me that one day black people would have to confront the white devils. After consideration, I realized I was one of the white devils he was talking about. Our leaders are failing. In a sense, we are failing too by not asking, demanding more for our homeless, our helpless. More human beings will freeze in the streets this winter, left on our conscience unless we force change. The asylum in the streets need not be. What is your name? What is your name? It's a violation of a penal law to assault sewer newsman in this, in this city, yes. Well, Mr. Okay. DeMotto, and I am telling you why that I have I'm just a been. humble philosopher searching no, for the not. truth. You're doing a hatchet job. I'm not doing a hatchet job. Abs- Gabe, I won that debate. I don't care what the Monday morning quarterbacks say, and I base it on the poll. I need a lawyer when I talk. <laughs> So in reporting on it, I expect, Gabe, that you're going to do the same thing, and you're going to go out of your way to make it clear. We always do. Right. All right, gen- gentlemen, gentlemen, this is getting out really? of hand. You both are, you're in the House, you're in the Senate. There are rules. There's a presiding officer. I am in charge here <laughs> temporarily. But you haven't no, answered no, one, one fundamental it. question, which is well, why you do you think you lost? Senator Gabe, how are you? Okay. Uh, Mr. Mondale, uh, Gabe Preston here. Oh, I recognize you. <laughs> you know, Gabe knew St. Patrick. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> It's good. It means good luck. How do you feel about about running again yourself, or haven't you made up your mind? Uh, Gabe, I am not running for election. Hi, Gabe. Hey, hi. How are you doing? How do you justify Hillary Clinton talking about an unsubstantiated allegation that the president of the United States had a mistress? Weren't you invading Mr. Bush's zone of privacy? Hey, Gabe. If you can help that person, remember, my name is Joe Colombo. As far as I'm concerned, Gabe, it isn't any Stop uh, Kennedy movement at all. Can you understand those who might say that they would question the existence of God if he permitted something like this? Oh, sure, I can understand it. I can understand it. Any of that kind of temptation, any of that kind of emptiness and desolateness, we all feel that on an individual basis at various times in our lives. I was a 20-year-old ensign on a small ship, a submarine chaser. Six decades later, it seems almost unreal. Then, we hardly knew what was happening. Now, we know it was history. I I miss my singing career very much. Uh, uh, And at the same time, uh, uh, the the Army is a pretty good deal, too. Do you miss the hysterical female, the... uh, the, the adulation you got wherever you went. Yes, sir. I'm sure you don't, you don't get that in the barracks. Do you feel like Samson, if you lost your hair, you'd lose what you have? It? I don't know, I don't know. Miss Monroe, uh, this is a rather personal question, but 
Is there anything in particular about Mr. Bowe that uh, attracted you? No. Have you seen him? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Mayor Wagner and Mrs. Wagner flew out today for a week or ten day vacation in the Bahamas. Mrs. Wagner was wearing her Easter bonnet for the trip. The hat was pale blue and adorned with a wide band of white tulle. And they headed for Nassau and a holiday in the sun. This is the uh, doorway to the grand jury room here at the Bronx County Courthouse on the eighth floor. What's going on in the metropolitan area tonight? At Lewison Stadium, Joseph Rosenstock conducts a program of Strauss, Stravinsky, and Tchaikovsky. Motorists along the shores of the Hudson might have been forgiven at midday if they rubbed their eyes in disbelief. The dinosaurs were constructed of fiberglass in Hudson, New York, and were headed for the Sinclair Dinoland exhibit, which will cover an acre at the New York World's Fair. Robert Moses, the embattled president of the World's Fair. Would you say that uh, some of your critics have uh, likened you to that kind of prehistoric monster? Well, I think he looks a little bit like some of the newspaper <laughs> men I see around. <laughs> In the melting pot called New York, there's a little slice of the mysterious Orient down on Elizabeth Street named the Kiki Cake Company. At work here is the city's fortune cookie, Tycoon. Our particular fortune came in a giant-sized cookie, and it says, oh, yes, it says you have precisely five seconds to end this story if you don't want to get cut off the air. In Greenpoint, on 125th Street in Harlem, in Borum Hill, on Roosevelt Island, in Astoria, on Staten Island, at Tompkins Square Park, on West 32nd Street, in Woodlawn, in Rockaway Beach, the Bronx is where the heart is. At 161st Street in the Bronx, Gabe Pressman, News 4 New York. I have great faith that covering news in New York will continue to be fun and that it'll continue to be important and a great privilege and a challenge to be part of. I love New York and thanks for riding along.